In our previous episode, we had sailed from St. Thomas and we were seven days in on our voyage to Florida. Coming up on this episode, we're slowly dragging our home from the BVIs to Florida. It's like the slow boat to China. See, though, that's what we do to guests that clog our toilets on the boat. We're coming into St. Augustine. And here we are. The day is finally arrived. If you can see right there is the beautiful turquoise waters of the Bahamas. We are sailing between the Bahamas and Cuba. We're right here. At least we have a little bit of wind today. So as soon as Bill gets up, we're going to put up the main and hopefully sail. We had the jib out most of the night. Then the wind died off right before the rain came. Hi. Can you give me an update on the green bananas? Sure. Um, we are now a week and two days, so nine days, and they're still we, green. We hope so. So much for having bananas. We try. These rolly seas made everything difficult, even making a simple lunch. Oh, we didn't send them not to win? Where are the main up? Since it seemed like the wind was finally filling in, we decided to get up the main. We're just discussing the wind and how unpredictable it is, and we got the main up, and then it dropped. It's 12, and then it's 8, and then it's 7. And the problem is, is not the wind itself, but the waves that are hitting the boat, it's causing the boat to rock left to right, and it's causing a lot of stress on the rig. So I don't want to put that much stress on the rig with it flopping around in eight knots of wind. So we went ahead and took it back down. But now it's up to eight knots, up 12 knots again. And right about the time we get the sail up, it'll be back it'll down change. to eight. It's so good practice. We practiced today, we did good. So yeah, we're very good. Other than that, we just lay around and read books and edit videos and Rob's reading the, the manual owner's manual. For the, for the I'm reading the manual for my life. Anything is possible by Joby Martin. Getting, getting familiar. And Carrie's up front reading. She's not Joby's feeling so hot. The tomb is empty. A highlight of these long days was actually making dinner. Kind of gave us something to do. Wasn't the most pleasant experience with these seas, but gave us something to do, nonetheless. fish tacos that we caught yesterday. So excited to eat this one. Alright, day eight, we're having fish tacos. Fish tacos! That we caught last night. Mahi, mahi, mahi. Fresh, fresh. So the boys are being nice tonight. The girls cooked and the guys are cleaning up. <laughs> and trying to walk. And trying to, <laughs> and trying to stand up. game where you can walk from the back door to the front door of the salon without hitting something. So Rob, today's our two-week anniversary for owning the boat. Yay. What do you think? Two weeks. two weeks today we closed. It's been the fastest two weeks. A lot. A lot different. It's like the hoops we had to jump through. We're slowly dragging our home from the BVIs to Florida. It's like the slow boat to China. 
How fun is it to wash dishes in these seas? It's interesting, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, you're playing a bat, I mean, you're balancing a game of like stab yourself with a knife or stand up straight, you know? It's like, would you rather stand up straight or stick get stabbed? One of the highlights for me was taking the previous name off the boat. Y'all just leave it say hours. Whose boat is this? We finally made the turn north towards Florida, leaving Cuba behind. Bahamas to our starboard and Florida ahead. This is what it's like on night watch when you're sitting inside and you're just sailing into darkness. It is day 10 and we are off the coast of Vero Beach. Our Raymarine GPS stopped working in the middle of the night so we are just using our Navionics on the iPad. I'll have Rob reset it once he gets up. Looks like we should be arriving to our home port tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. on Mother's Day. What an incredibly sweet gift that'll be.
hopefully bring a smile to Rob's face, I decided I would bake some muffins. And after an hour and 20 minutes in this oven, they were finally cooked. Muffins on board. Yay. That one better than expected. They smell good, babe. Muffins. We're going to have muffins today. Yay. something sitting on the prop itself like maybe I don't know some stuff I mean I can try and scrub it off yeah All right. and in just a few minutes Bill had our props clean and we are on our way again okay. all right what's your favorite part of the trip favorite then? part of the trip young lady um I think just the whole experience being on a boat like this, I've never been on a boat like this, and obviously never sailed for this long or even a day. So, this whole thing. My favorite part being unplugged and away from everything, yeah, out in the middle of nowhere, um, and with my beautiful wife. What was your least favorite? Getting sick. Yeah, for her. Probably also for me because I didn't like seeing her sick when she's not feeling good. But then also missing my my family, my two boys, and my dog. Yeah. You know the little creature comforts that you take for granted, the things that you have no idea and you forget. And it's been a long time since you've been on a sailboat, and then you're out in the middle of nowhere, and you're like, oh, forgot about that. Yeah. But we all survived. But yeah. we did. We survived. Cheers. 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 What was your best part about this trip? best part about the trip was that the three times we docked the boat pretty much went off without a hitch. And I know we can pick up a mooring ball, so I'm good there. I know we can anchor. We're good there. So just the, the docking was uh, questionable, but after pulling it off over at Turks and Caicos and um, picking you guys up, that's probably, you know, the best training I had. And, but the best part of the trip, I mean, basically, you know, I was hanging out and talking to everybody. I mean, that's what I do for a living, and that's, I enjoy it. So it's kind of fun to learn about other people. I think for me, leaving St. Thomas, when we, because it was so hurried that morning when we left. I oh, think, my gosh. I, I don't think I really thought about, oh, my God, we're getting ready to get on this boat for the next 10 days, and we're not going to get off. Like, I haven't put on shoes in 10 days. I don't think I, I think had, had I been in my mind and thought about that, I think I would have been hugely scared, but I think because it all went down so fast and then we tried to get to Puerto Rico to meet you guys, it didn't give me time to get scared and get nervous. And then once we got, y'all got on board and we said, let's do the first overnight and we're just gonna go, like I didn't have time to get anxious and worried, like we just kind of jumped right in. So Off we went. I think, you know, baptism by fire is a good, I don't think it's for everybody, but I think it really helped fire's not over yet. We still need to go find dockage for the boat. So yeah. That is, so what's the worst part week. is yeah. now we have the boat and she's going to be in St. Augustine, but we don't know where she's going to go because none of the marinas want us. They don't want long term. They only want transient because they get more money for it. So at least until probably the end of May when all the cruisers have left the hurricane zone under back up north. Uh, so that's probably the worst, the worst part. And Rob, what about for you? What would be the worst part? That's the worst part is, I mean, well, I'll say the worst part is um, developing the vibration in the sail drive over here because, you know, we should, I should have paid attention to it a lot better. Um, but, you know, we didn't have a chance to, we didn't have a chance to take the boat out before 
we really closed on it uh, because they were still working on a boat. Since our survey. Huh? Since our Since survey. The survey. So, you know, we didn't didn't have a chance to like, you know, run it through its paces before we did this long passage. And um, you know But overall we've had minimal breakage and I think I mean the weather's we've had a couple of rough days with some ten foot waves, but those eased up and like tonight our last night it's flat and it's nice and yeah. So I mean, we get in tomorrow and figure things out, I suppose, you know. It's just a whole way of, it's just a whole new way of life that we have to learn. All right. All Thanks right. for coming with us, guys. Thank you very much for having us. It's been <laughs> awesome. The experience of a lifetime. All right. So it is day 10. It's my last night watch. So tomorrow morning, hopefully we should be coming into St. Augustine around 10 o'clock. So excited. It's been... I don't know, it seems like forever, but then it kind of seems like it went by super, super quick. Um, so right now we've got three whole knots of wind. So uh, Bill and I just put the, the boat to bed. Uh, we furled in all the sails. Carrie's downstairs. She's not feeling so good. She's sick. Rob is exhausted. So um, he's going to do three to six. I'm going to do nine to 12 and Bill's going to do 12 to three. So hopefully it's a great sea state. It's nice and calm, so hopefully I should get a lot of reading done, and this should be a quick three-hour night watch for the last time. My Mother's Day card. <laughs> so funny. So it's Mother's Day, our last day. We are just off the coast of Palm Coast, about, um, I don't know, 50 miles from St. Augustine, and We've had the holding tanks open because we've been out at sea, but we noticed one of the toilets wasn't draining. So Bill was down in the water trying to unclog one of the holding tanks on Mother's Day. We're going underneath to try and open a stuck valve. For the poo tank. Uh, Bill, what no, tool did he just give you? <laughs> Let's see that. Nice. Never plunged in the ocean before. Oh, the joys of friendship and owning a boat. Not even got a boat. I'm willing to take one for the team. Got 7 a.m. on the North Atlantic. All right. It's so clear. All right. It's not going to be when all that poo comes out. Swim away. Swim away. Oh, trust me. I saw like a tiny little something that like I pulled a little something back and of course it went straight by, but nothing glaringly obvious. So the holding tank is completely full, but all the things are open. So there's a clog somewhere in the system and we're trying to get it clean. And yeah. Come out at all? Yeah, a little, I mean, just like, you can see like a little something wanted to come out. See Bill, that's what we do to guess that clog our toilets on the boat. You have, to, you have to go swim and unclog it. I would like, uh, like it to be known that it was clogged before we got here. So it's gonna make blueberry muffins, but it was in that like paper box thing. And so when I opened it and dumped it in the bowl, there was a bunch of weevils. So no, blur, no blueberry muffins today. We're going with chocolate chip that are in like a kind of a plastic bag thing. Checking in. Check in. So we're, we're checked check, back into the U.S.? We're checked back into the U.S. Woohoo! So all we gotta do now is find a place to uh, store the boat for the time being until we get some... We still have no dock. Find some dock. No somewhere. marina. Everyone's coming back from the Bahamas and everything in St. Augustine is... Everybody wants transient, not long term, so... Well, no, the marinas want transient because they get more money figure it out one way or another in the next two hours sure you guys final update with the bananas <laughs> still green they're a little softer now they were hard as rocks even like was it four days ago they were hard as rocks when we opened it it was like it was like a, it was like a cucumber when you open it up so i'm gonna open this one we're gonna see what it looks like inside oh wait a minute it, we it may have a banana open. Thank God none of it, well, we wanted them on the trip. 
It's soft. Wow. All right. Taste test. The bananas are. Taste test. Ready? It's a banana. Two weeks later, we have a banana. So if you buy green, green bananas, you're going to have to wait. Wait two weeks. Two weeks. We are coming into St. Augustine. So good to be home. I have dreamed and waited so long to bring this boat back to St. Augustine. This is this is one of the best Mother's Day gifts ever. So we started this journey on my birthday and we're ending it on Mother's Day. Super, super sweet. There's the St. Augustine Lighthouse. So awesome. So how many miles? So, so, so 13, whoa, 1,355 nautical miles that we sailed. This is my, and we still got another mile off to go, so. Pretty sweet. So we've made it to St. Augustine. Sailing into our home inlet. You're bringing, your, you're bringing your boat home. All right, guys. So Rob and I have stood on this beach right over here for the past six plus years, and we watched boats come in and out, and we would always just dream of the day that we could bring our boat back to St. Augustine. And here we are. The day has finally arrived. <laughs> Great job, guys. Just bringing her in. <laughs> <laughs>